Hello everybody. Welcome to New Normal Education. Welcome to Digital Electronics. Today, we will tackle the module number one. It is called the number system. This module was designed and written with you in mind. So it is here to help you to develop knowledge, skills, and attitudes in the performance of the digital electronics. The scope of this module permits it to be used in many different learning situations. The language uses recognizes the diverse vocabulary level of students. The lessons are arranged to follow the standard sequence of the course. The module is composed of one lesson, which is all about the number system. So after going through this module, you are expected to one to understand what digital recording is. Number two, recognize different number systems and their uses. Number three, convert each number system and compile BCD code and binary. Revolution is the mainstay of man's kind of survival. Not violent revolution, but a progressive change in our way life. Historical background. Transportation revolution. So in the early 1900s, one could travel cross country only by rail at the convenience of the railroad. Still more fantastic has been the transportation brought about by the airplane. The first powered flight by the Wright brothers in 1902. Even the sky is the limit. We now travel outside the Earth's atmosphere. Next revolution is called the Energy Revolution. In 1900, census showed that the largest percentage of power for industrial use was furnished by the steam engines. Today, we have already an electricity has almost completely taken over by means of generator and the power transformer. The next revolution is called the intellectual revolution. Last but not the least is the growing partnership between man and machine. The concept of applying intelligent machine. It is called the evolutions of electronic techniques. One of the intelligent machine built was the abacus. Second is the appearance of Blaise Pascal's desk calculator in 1642. Pascal device could add and subtract. In early 1800s, Charles Babbage envisioned a mechanical device that incorporated many principles of the modern digital computer. In 1940, a computer using relays was devised and pulse techniques developed for radar were incorporated into applied mathematics. Introduction to Digital Electronics This additional way of categorizing the world of electronics is to divide it into the main branches of application, an analog and digital. So along with these categories are the subdivisions of different technologies associated with them such as analog, audio, communications, digital computers, and so on. So what makes digital electronics popular? The answer is simple. Information processing, data manipulation, and storage. Instead of representing and processing information through analog means, 
digital electronics do this in terms of ones and zero. So some prefer to high or low, yes or no, to all false, on and off. Analog quantities are converted to digital format, processes and stored, and then converted back to analog form of the final output. So what is digit? Digit is a Latin word means fingers. The analog versus digital techniques. When you say an analog or linear device is basically a measuring instrument. The measured property can take on an infinite numbers of possible values. The major criterion for an analog device is the magnitude of an electrical output called the electrical signal. How large or how small is the signal? It is called an analog. How about the digital? A digital signal has a discrete discontinuous character. A major criterion of digital device is the presence or absence of a signal. So, analog linear is an example of a device measures while digital is a device count. The two main branches of application are called an analog and digital. So, an example of analog devices is an analog multi-tester. An example of digital device is a digital multi-tester. One example of analog devices is called an analog watch. While an example of digital devices is called the digital watch. Today, we have also an example of digital television, a digital clock. What else? We have a digital weighing scale. Digital devices to measure the blood pressure. We have also a digital devices used to measure the oxygen. So this is an example of different digital devices already in a market. So I repeat, when I say an analog, a device measures while a digital is a device found. Now, let us proceed to our main topic of this module, the number system. So, we have four number systems in digital electronics. We have the decimal number system. We have a binary number system, octal number system, and the hexadecimal number system. System. Decimal number system is a system of positional notation in which the successive relate to the successive powers of the base 10. The decimal number system has 10 unique symbols from 0 to 9. When say 0, 0 is the least significant digit while 9 is the most significant digit. What is radic or base? Radic or base of a number system is the total number of unique symbols available in that symbol. Example, so in decimal number systems, we have 10 different symbols from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
nine. So zero is for the least significant digit, while nine is called the most significant digit. So in counting, the zero symbol is the lowest value symbol, while nine is the highest valued symbol. So in counting numbers, when the zero symbols appears, the result of the accumulating the counts from one to nine must be shifted into the column or the position. The zero symbol is called the shift marker. So our first activity is, let us express 321 in exponential form. Solution, write 321. 321 is equal to 3 times 10 to the second power plus 2 times 10 to the first power plus 1 times 10 to the zero power. So this is our answer. So how will we check if our answer is correct? Let us check. Example, 3 times 10 to the second power plus 2 times 10 to the first power plus 1 times 10 to the zero power is equal to 3 times 100 plus 2 times 10 plus 1 times 1. So we have 300 plus 20 plus 1 is equal to 321. Don't forget the radix or the base. So we have base 10. So, so that we can say that this is an example of a decimal number. So the answer is 321 base 10. No. Any number raised to the exponent 0 is equal to 1. The next number system is called the binary number system. It is a number system using only two stable states, the 0 and 1. 0 is the least significant bit, while 1 is called the most significant bit. So we have an example of binary counting table. So at the left column, or the first column, we have a decimal. While in second column, we have a binary, the equivalent numbers in binary, while the third column is the domain. So we have only 10 examples, uh, 10 decimal number systems that convert to binary number system. Let's say decimal zero, the equivalent of decimal zero for binary is zero 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 so the comments is called identical so again decimal one the equivalent of decimal one to binary is zero 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 one so how we will get the value in binary in our example we have four bits so in each piece, we have an equivalent number. So it is called the 8421. I repeat, 8421. In this part, the first digit is our least significant digit, while the last is our most significant digit. So we have 1, 2, 4, and 8. So how? Just only 8 plus 4 plus 12 plus 
one, we have 15. So in our sample, we have only 10 decimal numbers that we will convert into binary. Let us continue. Let's say, again, 0, 0, 0, 1. So the comments is identical. Now, decimal 2. What's the value or what is the equivalent of decimal 2 into binary? Using our table, our binary counting table. The equivalent is 0, 0, 1, and 0. What's the comment? Shift to the left. Shift to the left. Next. We have decimal 3. So in our decimal 3, the equivalent of decimal 3 into binary is 0, 0, 1, 1. How? A2 and 1 makes 3. I repeat, A2 and 1 makes 3 or 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Next, decimal 4. The equivalent of decimal 4 into binary counting table is 0, 1, 0, 0. So another shift to left. Next, decimal 5. The equivalent of decimal 5 into binary counting table is 0, 1, 0, 1. A 4 and 1 makes 5 or 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. How about the decimal 6? We have 0, 1, 1, 0. A, 4, and 2 makes 6 or 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. Then, decimal 7. The equivalent of decimal 7 into binary counting table is 0, 1, 1, 1. A 4 and 2 and 1 makes 7. Next, decimal 8. The equivalent of decimal 8 is 1, 0, 0, 0. Another step to left required. Next, decimal 9. The equivalent of decimal 9 is 1, 0, 0, 1. An 8 and 1 makes 9. Or 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. Let us convert a decimal number system to binary number system. The first method that we will tackle is called successive Subtraction. We have three steps that need to follow to convert a decimal number system to binary number system. The first step or procedure is number one, successively subtract the largest possible power of two from the decimal number. Number two, continue performing step one until zero remainder of yours. Then, last, write a one for each power of two subtracted. So these are the additional direction or notes how to convert a decimal number system to binary number system. Write a zero for each power of two not use. So you will write a zero to the other side or to the right side. Then next, write a ones and zeros in the order in which the subtraction are performed. Our example number one. How we we'll convert a decimal number system to binary number system. Convert decimal number 7 to binary 
using this successive subtraction. Solution. First is write the decimal 7, then the radix. So we have base 10. First. The next step is find the most significant digit. So in our 8421 code, what digit we will subtract a decimal number 7? Yes, the answer is 4. So 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. So at the right side, you will write 1 because we will use a 4. Next, so we have 3. So what bit or what digit we will subtract a decimal 3? Yes, the answer is 2. So you will subtract 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Then write again 1 at the right side because we will use a power of 2. Next. So we have 1 minus 1 because we will use a power of 2 again. So we have 1. So 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Then write a 1 to the right side. So now the first answer, the first one is our most significant bit. Then the last one is our least significant bit. So how you will read the bit? So from top to bottom or from up to down. So we have one, 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 then base two. Two is the radix or base of binary. So the answer is one, 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 base two. The equivalent of one, 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 base two to decimal is decimal seven. Example is decimal 16. Convert decimal 16 to binary using successive subtraction. So, 16 minus 1. So, what is the power of 2 that we can subtract to 16? If your answer is 16, you are correct. So 16 minus 16 is 0. So you will write 1 at the right side and the first 1 or your first answer is our most significant digit. Next, so 0 minus 8. Why 8? Because this is the power of 2. I repeat, it is an 8, 4, 2, 1 code. So we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so forth. That's only double A numbers. The least significant digit is 1. You need to double it. So we have 2. Then you double the 2, it becomes 4. When you double 4, it becomes 8. When you double 8, it becomes 16. When you double this is it become 32 and so forth. Okay, next. So we have 0 minus 8 is equal to 0. So you will write 0. Then we have 0 minus 4 is equal to 0. Then again, write 0. Then next, 0 minus 2 is equal to 0. So you need to write again 0 to the right. Then we have 0 minus 1 is 0. Again, you will write 0. Then the last answer is our least significant 
digit. No, if power of 2 is not used, you will write 0. Again, if power of 2 is not used, write 0. So we are true in how we convert a decimal number system to binary number system using successive fraction. The next method that we will tackle is called the successive division method. So we have four steps how we will convert a decimal to binary using the successive division. Number one, step. Successively divide the decimal number by two. Second, place the quotient directly beneath the dividend. Number three, place the remainders opposite the quotient. Number four, the equivalent binary number becomes the remainders. The final remainder being the most significant digit or MSD and the one or the first remainder being the least significant digit or it is called the LSD. Example, we will convert decimal tree to binary using successive division. First step is 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1, remainder 1. One divided by two is equal to zero remainder one. No, if the quotient is perfect, means without remainder, write zero. I repeat, if the quotient is a perfect means without remainder, write 0. If the quotient has remainder, write 1. So in our example, the final answer is 1, 1, base 2. So 1, 1, base 2 is equivalent to decimal 3 in decimal number System. Convert decimal 14 to binary using successive division. So write 14 base 10 is equal to blank base 2. First step, 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. So we have no remainder, so you will write Zero. 7 divided by 2 is equal to 3 remainder 1 so we have remainder so write 1 next 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1 remainder 1 so we have remainder so write 1 next 1 Divided by 2 is equal to 0, remainder 1. So we have remainder, so write 1. A 1 in any digit position indicates that the corresponding power of 2 is to be used. A 0 indicates that the power of 2 is not required or is not used. So our next example is we will convert the vice versa from binary to decimal number system using exponential form. Example, our example is 1, 0, 1, base 2 is equal to blank, then base 10. So, in our example, this one is our LSB or the least significant bit, while this one 
is our most significant bit. So, solution is equal to, let's say, right one, one times two to the second power plus zero times two to the first power plus one times two to the zero power. Next is equal to one times four plus zero times two plus one times one. So we will multiply. So we have one times four is equal to four plus this times two is zero plus one times one is equal to one. Then we will add. Then is equal to four plus zero plus one is equal to decimal five base ten. So the equivalent of one zero one base two is decimal five. Let us check. So one zero one. So we have four, then one four n one makes five. The next method to convert from binary to decimal number system using successive multiplication method or it is called the double double so we have five steps in how we we'll convert from binary to decimal using double double the first step is double the highest order binary digit number two add this double value to the next lower order binary digit and record the sum number three double the sum obtained number four add this obtained value to the next lower order binary digit and record the new sum. Number five, continuous three or the continuous steps number three and four until the last lower order binary digit has been added to the pre previously doubled sum and a final sum has been obtained. The final sum is the decimal equivalent of the binary number so our next example is one one zero one base two is equal to blank base ten so we need to follow the step how we will compute or how we will convert from by the decimal using successive multiplication or it is called the double double. First step. So, 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Because the first step is double the highest order by the digit. So, our uh, operation is multiplication. So, the first step is double the higher order by the digit. So, 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Next step, add this double value to the next lower order binary digit and record the sum. So we have the next lower value is 1. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Next, we have 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Then next, you will add this sum to the next lower value. Our next lower value is 0. So we, we will add 0 plus 6 is equal to 6. Then double the sum. So we have 6 times 2 is equal to 12. Then you will add the, then you will add 12 to the last digit or the last bit. So we have 1 plus 12 is equal to 13. So the answer is decimal 13. Let us check if our answer is correct. So we have 
one one zero one. So eight four one. Eight and four is equal to twelve. Plus one is thirteen. 